Okay, so what we're looking at here are the bones of the vertebral column. These are our vertebrae. Okay, and what you see in each of my columns here are the different segments that we have in, in the vertebral column. So there is a cervical region, there's a thoracic region, there's a lumbar region. This would be superior towards the middle, and this is down by our lower back. Okay? You look at the terminology that you have to know on all of these, and it's a lot, okay? But the nice thing is, if you know it on one of them, you pretty much know it on all of them. You just have to be able to identify a couple differences. So let's start off by going over some similarities, because similarities that you see in the cervical bones are going to be the same as the thoracic, same as the lumbar, okay? So if we look at the thoracic, for example, okay, a couple things that are that are going to be consistent with all of them okay first thing I want you to know is the body okay this is the body of this particular bone these are the transverse processes this is the spinous process so body transverse process spinous process if I turn this to the side slightly you'll see making up this vertebral arch are a couple other structures the name of this area of bone between the body and the transverse process is the pedicle. The name of this area of bone between the transverse process and the spinous process is called the lamina. So we have the body, pedicle, transverse process, lamina, spinous process, and then coming all the way around, lamina, transverse process, pedicle, back to the body. It's going to be the same on all of them. A couple other structures. These are the superior articular processes. If I showed you the posterior side, on the bottom we have the inferior articul articular processes. Okay? So superior, because it's on top. Articular, because it's going to articulate or touch another bone. Process, it's a projection or an outgrowth. The face of this being the facet. So superior articular processes, inferior articular processes. The way this works is when we have vertebrae stacked on top of each other, like they are in you and I, the inferior articular process of the bone on top and the superior articular process of the bone on bottom are going to sit together like this, over and over and over and over, all the way down the spinal column. 